Hey there, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Saw Garage. So today we're going to be changing the differential fluid on my project Jeep. This is a 1992 Jeep Wrangler YJ. We're going to be working on the Dana 35 rear axle doing a quick fluid change. Now obviously I've got the Jeep up on jack stands. You don't have to do this. This is purely for lighting and camera angles, all that kind of stuff. You can do this with the Jeep right on the ground. And this can all be done with just simple common hand tools. And we've got our gear oil here. This is obviously Redline 7590 GL5. This was actually given to me by Redline for this fluid change, but I'll link all this stuff down in the description below. And a nice Felpro Dana 35 uh, differential cover gasket. This is our fill plug right here on the Dana 35. We're gonna start out by uh, breaking loose all of these uh, mounting bolts though. And I've got a little egg crate here. I like to keep all the bolts organized and that just kind of helps me keep track of them where they go. I like to put them back in the same spot. So I'm gonna start out just by breaking these guys loose. And then I'm gonna actually cheat a little bit. And this is a half inch socket I'm using. And the way I'm cheating, I'm using my little uh, electric ratchet here. This thing is super handy. It just makes jobs go a lot quicker. I should also mention that I've got a oil pan down, a pan here, a catch pan. Catch all the gear oil. I can already smell it. Love the smell of gear oil. So the only one that is left is this one at the very top. I loosened it so there's room and I'm going to leave it there just to hold the uh, cover in place while we break it loose. Looks like they used RTV on it last time. We're going to be using that nice Felpro gasket. And let's see if it'll break loose with our rubber mallet. Yep, it kind of moved on us. If it won't break loose with the rubber mallet, the thing to do is get a jack under it and just kind of push on it with the jack. Uh, I've used chisels and things under it before. That's not ideal. You really don't want to do that. It looks like it's loose. Yep. And if you guys notice, the fluid coming out is like a milky, ugly color. That tells me that water's been getting in there. You don't want it to have that milky color. So definitely do for a fluid change. So let's take this last bolt out and drop the cover. All right, now let's clean up the gasket surface here. Get all the extra RTV off. And when I'm scraping up top, I actually like to take a little towel and drape it over the differential here. Just helps keep some of the debris out. And we definitely want to spend uh, our time cleaning up this gasket surface because if you have uh, dirt and debris and leftover RTV on here, that's how you're going to develop leaks. So just make sure you spend uh, a good amount of time getting it nice and clean, perfectly clean, nothing on there. It's not my favorite part though. 
and we'll clean it off with a little shot of brake cleaner. Alrighty, so we got our new Felpro gasket here. I'll be sure to link this gasket and this uh, Redline oil, this gear oil we're going to use in the description below. Alrighty, let's match up our new gasket. No. There we go. And get a cover on here. Get some bolts in here, finger tight. And I'm kind of going around snugging these guys up, alternating sides, so that it tightens down evenly. And we'll go around and torque the cover bolts to 30 foot-pounds. Okay, now we're going to use our uh, pump there to pump our Redline 7590 GL5 gear lubricant into our differential until we see it starting to leak out of that uh, fill hole. That's how we know we're full. And it should take about a bottle and a half, a quart and a half. And there we go, we're leaking out. We are full. Let's pull this guy out without making a huge mess. And get our plug in there. And there we go, Dana 35 fluid change. So like I said, I'll link all these products I use, the Redline, I really like using Redline oil because I don't do this very often, every couple years, every 30,000 miles, which I don't know, I, I like using a high quality oil for that so I know it'll protect my differential. Thank you guys for watching, leave a comment down below and uh, check out my next video right up here. Have a good day.